So now that we've got Flappy Bird and he's controllable, we can move him about the screen a bit. We can obviously change that later, so make sure he can actually fly between the gaps in the pipes. Uh, the next thing we're obviously going to have to do is create the pipes. Now the pipes have to be added as a new sprite because we want them to move across the screen and we also want the uh, character Flappy Bird to actually be able to interact, bang into the sprites and try and get through the gaps. So what we're going to do then is we are going to click on paint new sprite and we're going to use this tool in vector mode to so convert the vector and zoom out to its 100%. Now I'm just going to use a rectangle tool, choose the color green and I want the inside of it filled in and now I'm going to draw the sprite just roughly around about here. Now what I can do is I can move that about to where I want to be. I'm actually going to just get it on top of the ground. We're obviously going to make it move about by using code at the moment. We're just trying to get the right size and the right color etc. You can see that's too high. That's about the right height. I want this one to be very low. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate that rectangle by clicking on the duplicate tool, selecting it, put this one above it, and then I'm going to stretch that up the ways. Okay, and the last thing that you want to do is you want to center your sprite. So you want to tell the computer where the center of the sprite is. So that's about there. Okay, so that's fine for the first one. That's actually probably slightly too small of a gap. So you can change that. That's too big, and we might want that to be about that sort of height there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this costume within the same sprite. I'm going to duplicate it on the second one. Again, I'm going to zoom out. I want to move it the gap a little bit higher each time. So the first thing you do is create something that you can actually measure the height of the gap. So I'm just going to keep this to the side. I'm going to move this one up a bit. I'm going to bring this one up to here. I'm going to bring this one up to here. So it's roughly around about the same size of a gap. Now I'm going to delete this. Because it should still be in the center, so that's OK. I don't need to worry about that this time. Now I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to duplicate the second one. Zoom out, get your measure ready, move it slightly up the ways, move it slightly up the ways, put this in the C, make it a bit higher. So you can see each time, delete that, right click, duplicate, zoom out, measure the distance between it. Move it that way, move it up a bit, move it up a bit, and delete that, and now for the last one, hopefully, right click, duplicate, zoom out, create something for measuring the difference between it, move the top one up, Maybe get one more in actually, move that to there, that's about right. Down slightly possibly. And in the last one, what we're going to do now is going to delete that. Same idea, going to duplicate it, zoom out, measure the distance, move this one up to the top, this one up to about to here. Down to about there. Delete this one. Now you can see actually on the screen it doesn't appear, but that's okay. So that one's the top. Two, three, four, five. So it looks okay. Yeah. And so that's us. Now we've made the sprite. And we've got different costumes. So what we do now is we go to scripts. And what's going to happen now is every time we want it to start off on the right hand side of the screen, we want to move across the screen and then we want it to disappear and reappear on the right hand side, but choosing a different costume. 
So we're going to do that in a separate video, um, which is just going to show you the code of how that actually works.